Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at some models for integer addition. The first one we're going to look at is the chip model, or you could think of this really as any concrete manipulative model. So this model obviously does use manipulatives, and the benefit of that is that students can experience addition of positive and negative numbers in a more hands-on way. It emphasizes the fact that opposite integers add to zero, and it can be inexpensively done and easily replicated at home. So if you watched our integer models video, then you've seen the bright yellow and red positive and negative chips. But of course, not everybody has those in their classroom or at home. One thing that you could use is actually just two different colors of dry beans. You can assign one color to be positive and one color to be negative, and it works exactly the same way. So here, we're just gonna go ahead with the chips. Again, a positive yellow here represents a positive one, and a negative red represents a negative one. So let's see how we can use those to model negative two plus four. Well, we start by grabbing two negative or red chips and four positive or yellow chips. Here, remember with our chips, any group of one red and one yellow equal to zero. So we can group those by either stacking them or even removing them and count what is left over. So here, when we remove our groups of zero, we have positive two or two yellow chips left over. So negative two plus four is two. Let's try that again with negative six plus three. So to model this using the chip model, we'll start by grabbing negative six or six red chips and pairing that with three positive chips. Once again, we'll pair off one positive and one negative and those equal out to zero. So removing those, we have three red negative chips left. So our result is negative three. Our next model for integer addition is our number line model. So this reinforces the idea of opposites instead of by having us zero things out, by having students move in a left or right direction on the number line. This bridges well to whole number addition if you taught that using the number line method. And it also connects well to the idea of absolute value since we are moving from zero. So let's take a look. With the number line model, we're going to start at zero. I like to have some sort of creature here moving. We're just gonna use our little running man here, but you might work with a cat or a dog or a monkey or whatever. Anytime you want to represent a positive number, your little creature is going to take forward steps. And anytime you want to represent a negative number, your little creature is going to take backward steps. So positive steps are forward and negative steps are backward. So let's model one plus negative four. So if we get our little guy there starting at zero, one means we're going to take one forward step. To add negative four, we're going to take four backward steps. Once we've done that, we note where did we end up on our number line? In this case, negative three, and that is our result. So one plus negative four is negative three. All right, let's try that again here. Negative two plus negative three. All right, we'll get our little creature started at zero. Negative two means we're going to take two backward steps. So one, two, and then plus negative three means from there we'll take three more backward steps. One, two, three. Once we finish taking all of our steps, we'll note that we have landed at negative five. So negative two plus negative three equals negative five. All right, guys. Well, that does it for this video on some integer addition models. Until next time, we'll see you in a future video.